Well, for the next seven days, you can't mind, but I saw shorts in the suburbs today, and some of the southern suburbs hit the middle 50s, believe it or not. I even saw a couple of people washing cars in their driveway. Look at this report we have right now from our weather watcher, David Sprout in Bourbonnet. 58 degrees, and his winds are light, but wow, those winds are going to get gusty tomorrow behind a cold front. To the north, it's cooler, 40 degrees from Barb in Lake Forest. She's noticing the clouds are gathering as well. I want to show you, though, a neat picture from one of our weather watchers. This was last night. Did you see the full moon? <laughs> it was tough because there were clouds in and out. He captured it, though, looking from the West Loop. We call this the full snow moon because typically across the U.S., February is the highest month for snowfall on a national average. But he was able to capture that, and I know that the clouds were a little frustrating from time to time. Officially at O'Hare today, 49 was the high. Look at this, 34 is where we usually stand. We're way above it. We're staying above it for the next several days. We'll have maybe a sprinkle tonight, but a cold front passes at daybreak, so high winds to 40 miles per hour out of the northwest are going to feel cooler tomorrow. And then after that system leaves, very quiet for much of the work week. Notice the wind flow ahead of the front, northeast, coming off the water. So that means that those North Shore areas are pretty chilly. We have 41 at the lakefront, but the water temperature is 33. So as that wind comes off the lake, we're holding at 39 in Waukegan. It's 54 in Kankakee and also Rensselaer. But gosh, look further to the south, 72 right now in St. Louis. We have two weather systems we're watching, one to the north, one to the south. It looks like this front will be passing at daybreak tomorrow, opening the door for those gusty winds. Ahead of it, though, this low over St. Louis could brush a couple of sprinkles in our direction. In fact, I want to give you a look at the radar. What you see first of all over Wisconsin is Virga. This is evaporating before it reaches the ground. Even though it looks like it's raining in Kenosha and Racine, really nothing, maybe a brief mist, but that's not going to affect us. Further to the south from that low over St. Louis, we're going to get a push of moisture, so maybe a sprinkle here through the late evening hours. It's only 20%. Not a big deal. Low temperatures will hold where our normal daytime high is. So it's going to be a mild night. But tomorrow with those winds, it's going to feel cold because of the northwesterly winds gusting to 40, even though temperatures will actually be above average. And it looks like around Kankakee we'll see 43, Zion about 40, Ottawa 42. So let's break it down. The cold front passes Sunday morning, opening the doors for those very cold winds. After that system moves through, the winds relax as a ridge of high pressure comes in on Monday. Wow, do we start with a lot of sunshine. You know, we are sneaking by winter here without much. We don't have to shovel a darn thing. The only thing is going to be the winds tomorrow. Look at that. Throughout the week, temperatures staying above freezing during the afternoon, so above average temperatures with no precipitation. Hmm. I'm going to nice. wash my car. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you, Mary Kay. <laughs>